covered on the long term long term. I thought it was enlightening because quite a number of our members didn't know anything about the Loch Ness Monster. How many of you have not heard of the Loch Ness Monster before this? Alright, now you know a little bit about the Loch Ness Monster, right? I know about it by Oh, okay, thanks to Jeffrey. Jeffrey, this is your seventh project and in this project, I saw you demonstrate the skills that you have learned in the previous project. You have mastered your nervousness, you were not nervous, you make good use of your body language as well as your vocal variety. This specific, the specific objective of this, of this project is for the member to learn to practice researching on a topic. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought you did that well because you have found a large number of pictures and information with regards to this monster and you showed us all that you have discovered and that is good. A few things for you, Jeffrey. The first one, when you, when you gather information on a particular topic and you present it to us, it is good if you can tell us where you found it. If it is from a website, which website? If it is from an authority, who it was this authority? Who is this person that you gathered this information from? Otherwise, people may think that you made it up on your own, right? And then the second thing, it is also good if you can give a background on this monster. Where can you find this monster? I was waiting for you to tell us. Yeah, Loch Ness is a lake in Scotland. That's why it is called the Loch Ness Monster. Because I heard some of the audience, someone asking whether the monster, whether it was a Chinese monster or whether it was a Japanese monster. So it would have been good if you could told if you could have told us where we can find this monster. It is a legend of a monster in a lake in Scotland called the Loch Ness. Alright. And the final thing for you. Jeffrey, whenever you have notes to read, right, it will be good if you can write it in big letters so that you can stand behind and look at the notes instead of hunching over the notes and reading the notes. And this is not very good. Mm -hmm. Right? So, in my opinion, you have done very well. I've always admired you. You speak well. And I've seen tremendous improvements in you from the first day I met you. So well done. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hope that you continue to deliver your speeches. You have three more to complete the manual. Well done. Let's give you a big round of applause. <laughs> Back to you, Carolyn.